Hello class, this YouTube is designed to give you information on how to complete the journal assignment that is due this week. So if you go to the Blackboard website, you'll see the journals are kept in the blog area. And this is the first journal, Demographic Comparison of Two New York City Neighborhoods. And like the blog, it works the same way. You go in, you click on the top here, it brings you to the journal instructions, and you can create your journal entry. So it's very similar to the blog. But what I want to focus more on is the directions we have for the journal. So scroll down and make sure you read all of the directions. For the second essay, we are going to be writing about two New York City neighborhoods. So in the next few weeks, we're going to be collecting information about those two New York City neighborhoods. So you might want to read um, the directions for the second essay before you make your selection. Uh, but what we're going to be looking at here is just basic demographic. We're going to compare the total population of the two neighborhoods, compare the age structure of the two populations, compare the races of the two neighborhoods and describe the Hispanic subgroup and Asian subgroup. Okay, um, so let's click on and see how we get that information. Okay, this is the New York City Population Fact Finder. And what we first want to do is click on the neighborhood tab. We are not going to do an analysis of census block or census tract information, we want to look at neighborhoods. And what will pop up almost immediately is names that we're familiar with, right? Okay, Flatlands, Midwood, Borough Park, these are all neighborhood names that we um, are familiar with. Now, in selection of your two neighborhoods, I would recommend that at least one of the neighborhoods should be an area you are very familiar with. Um, the other area can be more for contrast and comparison. Um, let's pick two neighborhoods. And for example, for this, I'm going to go to Manhattan. I'm going to pick the Lower East Side and Chinatown. So I've clicked on the Neighborhood tab. I am going to click on and highlight the Lower East Side. And then I'm going to view that profile. Okay, now, so what it's done here is it's brought up information on the Lower East Side, but I want to make a comparison. So I'm going to ask it here for another neighborhood, and that is Chinatown. Okay. And if you scroll down, what you've seen is that the selected area is the Lower East Side, and then it's giving me a comparison of Chinatown. So let's look at the total population. For the Lower East Side, it's 68,000. So I'm going to copy that. I've created a sheet here. And To put that information in for Chinatown. Total population is 44,000. Okay. Okay, so already I have information kind of question number one done. Now, the male-female ratios are sort of interesting. The Lower East Side, there's far more females than males, okay? Um, but not so for Chinatown. Chinatown has a higher male-to-female ratio. Let's look at the age distribution. And this is something that you might want to spend some time on. If you look at the graph here, what you'll see is that the kind of bluish area gives you the numbers for um, the Lower East Side. Um, and the dots here are the comparison um, population. So we can see basically uh, 
that the Lower East Side has less children under five. Okay, and it's by age group. So let's look at it here. Okay, so this is just general. No, Lower East Side compared to Chinatown has slightly more under five-year-olds um, and slightly more five to nine-year-olds and many more 10 to 14 year olds, again, 15 to 19, um, and starts to eat in, even out at 20 to 24. So what it looks like is that the Lower East Side has a higher number of um, individuals under the age of 19. So that might indicate it has more families with children. Okay. But um, Chinatown has a much higher 25 to 29 year old, 30 to 34 year old, 35 to 39. Um, so kind of the years between 25 to 39 are much higher in Chinatown. We start again on the Lower East Side, it has a higher number of 40 year olds. Okay. And then basically, it's sort of an odd distribution. Lower East Side has less 80 to 84 year olds, less um, 75 to 79, and just slightly higher threes. So the big difference in here is what I would say is that. Um, And the town has a higher adults. I'm just gonna. Okay, so here I've answered questions about the population structure. Okay, the big differences, otherwise they're very, fairly comparable. Okay, let's look at race here. And for this, again, you have to look at the percentages. Remember, the total population for the Lower East Side is much higher than that for Chinatown. So we have to look at the percentages. In the Lower East Side, 39% of the population is Hispanic. In Chinatown, it's 15%. What was that gun? Uh, Okay, um, the white population in the Lower East Side is 23%. And for Chinatown, um, it's 18%. Okay, now let's look at um, Black or African America. For the Lower East Side, it's 11%. And for Chinatown, it's about 5%.
Okay. Now again, um, with all of these, the more information you add in, the higher your grade will be. This is just the basic information you need to collect. So here we go to the Hispanic subgroup. Because there were so few Hispanics in Chinatown, they don't have good data on um, where those populations came from. Um, we do know that 53% of um, the Hispanic population in Chinatown has its origins in Puerto Rico. Okay. Um, this one is um, in the Lower East Side, sixty five percent is from Puerto Rico. We also have another figure in the Lower East Side, 20% are from uh, the Dominican Republic. Is that again? 20%. Now let's scroll down and look at the Asian subgroup. Okay, in the Lower East Side, 90% of the population is East Asian. And of that 90%, 87% is from um, China. Is that correct? Yeah. Oh, oops, no, this is for the Lower East Side. This is telling me. Okay. okay, for Chinatown, 96% are from East Asia. And of that 96%, 93% are China. Okay. Okay. And this, in many respects, asked, is the demographic information um, that I am asking for on the sheet here. What you have to do is you have to describe it. Okay. You can give me a table as well, but I want you to tell me about the population in words. You also have to tell me what you think, try to explain why your neighborhoods have different demographics. So you need to look at them and compare them. Okay, and I also want you to post several photos showing your neighborhood. What you can do here is just go to Google Images. Okay. Look for China. 